The Auckland Volcanic Field is made up of about 50 small basalt volcanoes. It's spread over quite a wide area and it's um, a distributed volcanic field, which means that um, every magma batch comes up to the surface and erupts in a different place. And a term for that is monogenetic volcanism. So a single magma batch forms a single volcano. That's quite different to um, polygenetic volcanism, which is where magma batches come up and erupt at the same place time and time again, like at Ruapehu, Taranaki, Narahoe. Those volcanoes form nice big stratovolcanoes over many millions of years usually and um, form quite big constructs. Whereas in the Auckland volcanic field, we get lots of different volcanoes. And part of the reason for that is that there's no magma chamber beneath Auckland. The magma is coming straight from the mantle, which is the zone in the earth beneath the crust. It's quite deep. It's, the magma is coming from about 80 to 100 kilometers deep. And it's coming straight up to the surface without stopping in a magma chamber. So there's no preferred path, if you like, for the magma which is quite different to a stratovolcano like Ruapehu, which has a lovely magma chamber beneath it where the magma stops and um, stews for a little while and then pops out periodically. Um, in Auckland, we think the oldest eruptions are about a quarter of a million years old, about 250,000 years old. Uh, they probably occurred at Onipoto Domain and Pupuki on the North Shore. They formed explosion craters in that particular case and in Pupuki lava flows as well. Um, it's very difficult actually to date eruptions in Auckland. Uh, we, have, we have had trouble in the past getting accurate ages for past volcanoes. We do know that the youngest volcano is Rangitoto and that's about 600 years old. Rangitoto probably erupted twice with a bit of a time gap in between, uh, maybe 10 to 50 year time gap. Uh, and Rangitoto is also the biggest eruption um, by far. It makes up almost 50% of the entire volume of the Auckland volcanic field. Uh, now this is a bit of a problem for trying to work out what might happen next because do we consider that as the most likely eruption or do we look at the other 49 eruptions which are much smaller and say well that's probably most likely what's going to happen. So it is, it is difficult to, to work out exactly what Rangitoto means in terms of predicting a future uh, event. Um, one other thing about the Auckland volcanic field that's important to mention is that it's an intraplate volcanic field. That means it is not formed at a plate boundary. So it's not formed in response to subduction like our other volcanoes in the central North Island, the Taupo volcanic zone. Auckland is actually in the middle of a plate, hence the word intraplate. And another common term for that type of volcanism is hotspot activity and Hawaii is a classic example of hotspot activity where you have a perturbation or an anomaly in the mantle um, causing magma to rise from the mantle and erupt at the surface uh, in the middle of a plate rather than on a plate boundary and we don't know why that is happening in Auckland. One of the problems we have um, in Auckland is find it, finding suitable um, rocks for dating and we have trouble dating past eruptions. Uh, we can use the radiocarbon method of dating, but uh, that is limited to about the last 40,000 or 50,000 years. Uh, so anything that's older than that has to be dated using other techniques, such as the potassium argon technique or a, um, a more recently used technique called the argon argon technique for dating rocks. They're all based on radioactive decay of, of elements. Um, we've managed to date um, about 10 of Auckland's volcanoes fairly well, but all of the rest um, are, are poorly dated. And this is a, a big problem. Rangitoto is very well known, or the age of Rangitoto is very well known. Um, in fact, uh, there are 50 um, age dates for that volcano, so there are a lot. Uh, and also people were living on Motutapu at the time. Māori were living on Motutapu and we've found footprints, or people have found footprints in the ash. So we know that uh, Rangitoto erupted during a period of, of Māori living um, in Auckland.